Welcome back adventurers to Let's Play Riven, the sequel to Mist. When last we left off, we had made our way over to the Rivenese village where the inhabitants of the Sage are. They didn't seem too, you know, didn't seem too eager to welcome us. Um, I think most of them are fearful of, of most outsiders. Um, anyway, we've, you know, we did a bit of exploring around the jungle island and found a submarine that has led us all the way around this lake, and we were just about to head into this building, which is, hmm, it's not bad, it's, it's open as well. I uh, don't suppose anyone else is in here, because the platform hadn't been, you know, hadn't been raised until we, we extended it. This appears to be a, a school or, of some kind, or at the very least a, a classroom. This must be where the Guild of Educators, um, I believe that's what they're called. The Guild of Educators operate out of... It's a fairly nice room. It's where the Rivenese children are, are taught the ways of the Dunny civilization. Um, over here is a phrase that is uh, written... written in very perfect Dunny. It's quite elaborate handwriting. I'm supposing that Again, wrote this, seeing as how he would be the only extracurricular and and Dunny here. Um, you also notice that around here are various um, Dunny symbols. I believe you can uh, find the full. I believe there's a full set of um, Dunny symbols and and what they mean, because each of these is actually a le each of these symbols is actually a letter, you know, that represents a word, although the words of the, um, of the Dunny civilization aren't, well, they're not English, I mean, they wouldn't translate into perfect English, but it's still a very complex language. Um, the end, you know, on this platform here appears to be appears to be a smaller version of kind of resembles the cage we saw on Temple Island that has a handle on the side uh, let's see let's see if this thing works Terekoi Dani ki rivat Al royem be tig tavom ga bodona gayem. Ram. At least we know what this apparatuses. It appears to be an imager of some kind, quite different from the images uh, that Atrus used on Mist, although they still use the holographic technology. But even more so, the person that we have just witnessed is Gen himself, or at least a holographic representation of him, in the flesh, speaking, well, assu assumedly to various school children here, um, probably speaking to the school children as they were all sitting diligently on either side of the, the classroom. But that was again, Atrus's father. Not the rather exaggerated depictions that we saw in the Beetle Room, 
but the man himself, and... Uh, it was... Well, it was pretty, pretty clear to me from his demeanor that he is a very, very, very proud individual. Proud of his heritage, proud of the Dunny culture, and probably, you know, proud of his own superiority. But now we know who we must find, who we must trap in the prison book. But we also need to know where Gin actually is on Riven, because there is the possibility that he is, while he may not be able to get to Dunny per se, he might have found a way to escape his prison on Riven. Although, to be fair, as Atrus mentioned in his journal, trapping Gin for 33 years on the age with the people that he himself had indoctrinated and enslaved may not have been the best of solutions, but it was, you know, given the situation, there was literally nothing else that he or anyone could have done. Uh, finally, we have this this little thing here uh, that we didn't get to because we were too busy looking at the um, letters at the top there. Um, appears to be kind of like a, a hanging game of some kind with gaping jaws there. If I were a betting man, I would I would think that this is a representation of um, well, that giant fish that we saw, the, you know, the one with the tusks, although clearly there are no tusks on either side here because the fish is in the water. But also notice at the bottom, at the base of this, is a symbol. We've seen the symbol before. On the back of the golden eye representing the beetle. Uh, further, you know, that was shaped in the pool there. So, I can only assume that this could very well be a key to... Um, solving the puzzle, or at least the riddle, of the, um, the golden eye, of the golden eyes. So, there's a ring here that we can, we can interact with, so, we pull this this way, see what happens. As you can see, there's a, you know, the symbol is a square with a vertical line through the middle, and while the hanging men drop down. So let's see if if we can see what happens if we pull this down. Ah now this time the symbol instead of having the curve on the left side here it's on the bottom, so so clearly, you know, the symbol is, you know, is kind of looks like it's been rotated. Although, um, but the other thing that I was going to say was that notice that the hanging man w dropped down by ten. So. And what I was going to say earlier, that this appears to be the symbol that we saw originally rotated 90 degrees uh, to the left, I think. If we rotate this round again, there's that symbol, and notice that, that this hanging figure dropped down by two. So these are numbers. These are actual numbers. If you were paying attention, you will notice that the hang the hangman when he first descended, when that first symbol showed up, dropped down by only one. So these are numbers. These are numerals of some sort. And I'm willing to bet that they're dunny numerals, given Gen's 
complete obsession, you know, with the Dani civilization. But this symbol here represents two, whereas the previous symbol, which was the rotated one, represents ten. So this is kind of kind of like a morbid numerical game of some kind, but at least it helps us it gives us a clearer idea of the significance of the symbols, they're actually numbers. So the beetle the golden eye on the beetle is two. Now, this is interesting. This symbol appears to be unique in that it has a hollow, it ha it has a horizontal line through the middle of it, much like the symbol that we, you know, been seen recurringly throughout Riven. But there's also kind of like a an L shape, um, protruding from the right and down, like an a vertically flipped L and the hanging man dropped by by nine so this this symbol represents nine which is rather interesting five six this person dropped so by six, so this what appears to be a, a plus plus shape symbol in the middle of the square is clearly represents six. Oh, and there is that symbol that we saw in the animal at the beginning of the jungle island, but unfortunately we didn't get to see how many how many you know what number this represented because he obviously got eaten. So if we turn this again, and that leads to 10. Descends down to 10. Try and show off another, some more of these numbers, because it is entirely random how... Um, and there's part of that symbol that we saw a couple of turns ago and uh, as you notice the hanging man dropped by four so this right angle symbol clearly represents the number four which is very handy indeed Now this this person here dropped by eight. Now as you can see, there's um. Well, there's that um. Arrow symbol again, and this and yo, know, and it has a um, horizontal line this time. But I'm betting that this is actually a combination of um. Two numbers, as opposed to just one one number. Given the fact that we've been seeing, you know, the, the symbol that we've been seeing the most is the horizontal line in the square, I think I'm, I'm safe in concluding that that symbol might, you know, being a number, if it, you know, it could very well represent again five which would explain you know again you know his somewhat infatuation with the concept of five in relation to Dunny and Riven but you know taking this a step further that right angle symbol was four and if the horizontal line is five and the right angle is four that makes nine and since this person f dropped down by eight, we can we can surmise that the um, the that 
arrow symbol represents three. I know this is rather, you know, sounds like rather basic things, and there's the symbol that I was just talking about. And if you were paying attention, he dropped exactly five paces, so this is in fact the symbol for five. Which is actually quite handy to know. And there's nine again, and we don't get to see nine because the fish eats him. And then the puzzle resets. Also, um, hmm. Looking at this puzzle actually has as, as, um, put a rather ominous scenario into my, my head. Um, that's the fish that was seen on Riven that's revered um, by the Rivenese. Then these two must be unfortunate, unfortunate Rivenese villagers who have, um, for whatever reason Gen has decided must be punished and they're being fed to the fish. And notice that the, the platform here is a circular one. Well, we've seen something like this back at the tower. With that, Remember that giant circular platform that we've just seen? Yeah, that's... Doesn't it remind you of that? Imagine this is that star platform and it's open and these people are being dropped in there as some sort of sacrificial punishment very grim indeed but um you know this puzzle has actually been quite useful in you know establishing that the symbols are, are in fact numbers, so they'll actually come in quite useful. And I believe that's actually it for the classroom. Um, got these bowls here that I'm not entirely sure what their significance is. They're probably purely ceremonial. And you'll notice these lamps, these two, these two lamps. Do they look familiar? Do they remind you of the fish with tusks that I was just talking about? The ones that were being sacrificed? That the villagers were being sacrificed to? I think it, they are. I think it is. So yeah, that fish clearly has some sort of... Some sort of major significance to the people of Riven. But we are done with the classroom. Um... I think probably, you know, the next area that we should probably visit is um, that platform that I was just talking about, as ominous as that sounds, and fortunately, because we've traversed this, um, you know, because we went around in circles before, I don't think the giant fish is currently in the, um, in the lake at the moment. But uh, when we return, adventurers, we shall get back in the submarine and traverse over to this platform here and give it a give it a look over. Until next, we meet, adventurers.